in Python, sometimes you have multiple class instances. Each of these objects might be different and the data they contain might be different. And you might want to print out information to figure out which one you're working with or just to be able to compare them in some way. And one of the problems there is when you're converting it to a string, if you just print out the object, you might get some information that is useless. For example, you might see information about the name of the class and um, you might see some kind of ID number. So let's go ahead and see how do we print out information that's more useful. So I'm going to go ahead and create a program here so I can demonstrate how to do overloading of, well, the string function there. So we will call this class um, account. So it's just going to be something for storing accounts. And let's open that with Notepad++. And let's go ahead and create our class. Class account. And this account is going to store just a little bit of information, just the uh, maybe a user ID and a username. So init self UID user name. And we're going to store that in internal private variables. So UID UID and self underscore username equals username. Now, if you want to display it, you could write a function, a toString function. So let's do a def toString in camel case there. And, and this would just print out uh, or just return um, some kind of string that's e readable. So maybe percent %s and then percent %s. And we'll just put in our self uh, username and our self actually it's underscore now isn't it username and self underscore EUID so that would just print out a little string that has um, your username a space and then in parentheses your user ID number so that could be really useful because so then you just run the function with a two string thing and it in it prints out as a string or it can convert to a string and you can then use it to print out stuff However, if you wanted to actually print out this, just print out the object directly without using the toString method, you could do a def double underscore str double underscore self. And this one could be the same text as the one above, or I can even return the one above. So I could just do return self dot toString. All right. So now let's go ahead and run this and see how it works, or actually let's create some instances and then try it out. So I'll do um, a1 equals account, and I'll create one with a user ID number of 123, and this would be Alice. Uh, maybe that should be lowercase because that makes it more sense for usernames, but that's okay. And then a2 for account2 equals count of two three four of Bob all right and then I want to print out some things so I will do a print um, a one dot two string so you can see how that works and I'll print out a two dot there's a two and you can compare and see how they work and um, This should be nice. Let's go ahead and jump to a command prompt directory. You can see account, run account, and you can see the Alice prints out. So the two string works and the string thing also works. Now, if I were to take that away, just so you can see and compare, if I were to comment out this right here, save that and run it again, you see what it would have done normally. And this right here is less useful than the string format. So we have 
overloaded the operator for the string printing out. And this is how you do it.